Did you just intentionally make that into a dab? No, I always cough in my shoulder. <laughs> with your arm out like this. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kaylin, and for today's video, I'm with my lovely friend and future roommate, Paulina. Um, so today, we are going to be talking about 13 Reasons Why Theories, because we both recently watched it. Mm -hmm. It was... <sighs> we'll, we'll get into it. it. It was, a, it was a roller coaster. So we have some theories that we're gonna share. We're gonna share three theories with you guys. Two of them are just like ones that we've seen on Twitter that like, I guess could happen, mm -hmm. but are kind of like out there. Mm -hmm. But we're still gonna talk about them. And then the third one is one that I've seen several other places and um, I think that's the most likely. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so this very first theory that we're gonna be doing is one that's on Twitter um, and it's about Clay being in a coma, so. How's it gonna explain it? Right. Because she understands it more right. than I So know. like, in the beginning of the of the seasons, the seasons, the seasons, uh, all thirteen of them. <laughs> oh. um, so like, Clay gets into that accident where he gets that cut that follows him throughout the throughout the series, and it was kind of talking about how what if everything that happened leading up to the accident had already occurred, but then Clay gets into this accident, which causes him to get into it like go into a coma uh -huh. so he's in this coma and when he wakes up from the coma um it, it was kind of like i don't know I here forgot. go back to like the tweet because we have like the tweet pulled up so like, yeah. you can just like even like read with it yeah says. so um so the second season starts with clay waking up from the coma and realizing that what he imagined is actually happening and was happening while he was in a coma so he goes to hannah before she makes the final decision to kill herself he tells her that he loves her and he prevents like everything else from happening mm -hmm. the girls getting sexually assaulted and like all of that yeah so i mean we kind of talked about how there wouldn't be very much after that so it's just like he solved yeah. it and that's yeah it. because so yeah so what we were talking about so she sent that to me and i was like that is so cool and like that's such a good concept uh -huh. like of obviously everyone would like love for hannah and clay to somehow end up together but like Right, but then like it just ends. Yeah, you know? but like you they, can't they, really... they could maybe make one episode out mm -hmm. of it, but I don't see how they could stretch a whole other season out of it. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I don't understand with this theory is so like, how do I like put this into words? So they say that like, so he listens like what it happened. It was like he was like two takes uh -huh, in maybe I think so. when he like gashed his head open or whatever. So if he had already heard the tapes, then how when he woke up from the coma was Hannah still alive? Like, how would he have gotten the tapes? Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I don't get about this theory, but I think the coma thing, like, in any show, I think a coma right. makes for a good, makes for some good TV. That's true. Um, so I wish this would happen, but I just don't think they could make a whole other season out of it. <laughs> this theory is not, not approved. approved. Okay, so for this next theory, this one's a little bit more, like, on track of, like, something that could happen, like, actually. So, if you watch episode 13, in the very beginning, they show, like, a boy in an ambulance, and then the guy, the paramedics, like... 17 year old with like gunshot wound to the head or something like that and then you kind of spend the whole episode trying to like figure out who that was and then at the end it's like announced there's alex or whatever and everyone assumes that he tried to kill himself mm -hmm. right so if you go back and watch the clip of the like ambulance if you look closely the guy has brown hair and like alex is like ble like actually bleached right. hair that's like his hair yeah and so it's kind of like, maybe that's just something that like the producers kind of like slipped up mm -hmm. on. Um, but then, so the theory is that it's actually Justin. Why is it Justin? Because, now? so you see in the scene where he got into that fight with his mom's boyfriend that he packs all his stuff and he grabs a gun from the mm -hmm. kitchen. So they were saying that he used that gun to shoot yeah. himself. Well, and like another reason that it could not be Alex is like, like, the scene where, what's his name, that hot Asian guy? <laughs> what's his uh, name? I don't know. I can't remember his name either. Why can't I remember his name? Hot Asian guy. Hot Asian When guy. hot, he, like, he gets a call from Alex and someone answers. You assume it's Alex. Mm -hmm. But then he's supposedly already dead by then. So it's kind of, and that, was, that part was never explained. Right. You know? Like, I feel like that's something that they left open-ended, but then it just expected us to be like, oh. like, oh, mm -hmm. whatever. But, like... Unless it's like out of order or something. Which I don't it kind of was, and that was really confusing. Yeah, no. I if it weren't for the scar, I would have been lost. Oh my god, <laughs> I know. Literally, like, that's like, I th I feel like they did that purpose. Oh no, yeah, like, they had to have something that yeah. you could refer to. It's And the, like, lighting changes, you know, how to oh, like yeah. orange. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, okay, notice that. Journalism <laughs> majors, props. Um, 
and then also like the like out of order thing could mm -hmm. make sense of why Justin could actually be dead because then they like show him alive at the end but then he actually could be dead mm -hmm. but then again if you look at the clip which I'll actually insert the clip like earlier in the us talking about this it's like dark brown hair almost like clay which we don't have a theory for that. Yeah. Sorry, go watch someone else's video. But like, I don't know. So I still don't really understand that, but I really stand by our next theory. I mm -hmm. think that this is like the most like plausible it could actually happen. But this theory is not, not approved. approved. Okay, so our final theory, which is I think our most plausible one, mm -hmm. is that, so you see in the last episode that Tyler Tyler's is, like the irrelevant kid that like right don't, you like, never the yeah. weird yearbook kid that was me in high school But okay, let's hope that was <laughs> okay. Not not to that. I was just in yearbook. That's it we So get it, we get it. so he has his like photo room and he has all these pictures and he takes down the picture of clay clay Alex Alex I that's God. why you should talk about it. <laughs> Okay, so well first of all so, <laughs> I would just like take over. Okay, so first of all you see I think the gun scene happens first, mm -hmm. where you see him like packing up all of his guns and ammo into the, like that chest, which once again is something else that wasn't explained, which leads you to believe that you're gonna find that right. out in a that was like um, a big part of it. It was, but it was like never like it doesn't click mm -hmm. anywhere. No, it doesn't. <laughs> like Tyler in general, I feel like he's just sort of like throughout the whole thing been an outcast, even uh -huh. between the people on the tapes. So not even they would let him in. Exactly. So. The theory pretty much is, is that he shot Alex. So this would go along with Alex being, you know, didn't shoot himself, but he was the one who was in, the in ambulance. that ambulance. Which, like I said, maybe it was just like a producer fluke mm -hmm. or something like that. So let's say, Tyler used the gun to shoot Alex or whatever, they just assume Alex tried to attempt suicide. Mm -hmm. Um, so then they go to the scene where Alex like is in his photo room, like she said, and he has pictures of all of the people on the tapes. And then he takes Alex's picture off. Some people are saying that that's sort of like his hit list, mm -hmm. in a sense, and he took care of Alex. Mm -hmm. So that's him taking off his hit list, like check type thing. So, which totally makes sense. Oh yeah, like, I think that's why I think this is like the most plausible oh, theory. Sure. Like everything sort of like lines up. There's like the other ones. I feel like we sort of just like jump to conclusions. And there's kind of like open like open endings in those yes. too. Whereas yeah, exactly. this one like makes sense because we were saying like the whole issue with this first season is suicide suicide which could lead to the next season being about like school shootings and like that whole yeah like i think because the show i think is sort of about like you know like e like each like i like this season's like moral was like suicide and how it affects other like your family Addressing that issue and i don't know like if you saw but like the 13 reasons like behind or whatever it's called mm -hmm. after the season just is like 30 minutes about mm -hmm. Like the producers and everything and why they did it. I didn't watch it. But it was really interesting. But like, so maybe the next season could be Tyler's 13 reasons why he shoots up the school or kills or, you know, has that hit list or whatever it is. Something like that. Like looking, so instead of looking for signs of suicide, looking for signs of, you know, wanting to right. shoot like up we, a school. Like we like, said earlier, like the kid that's. You know, kind of like kind of the outcast yeah. and has to find a way, you know? Yeah, and the fact that he that they made him so irrelevant the whole show and then he randomly like has guns, I think that just foreshadows so freaking much. Mm -hmm. And then like it could just it like creates such a nice parallel. Mm -hmm. And so each season could be dealing with a different issue. And then because like if you go back and look at it, like the first season there are so many like signs that could point to that like him being left out mm -hmm. just like little like flashbacks of him and then like his parents being like why don't they like you just right. like all that sort of stuff like in the first like they kind of talk about like looking for signs in Hannah or whatever mm -hmm. but then like what what like we were so distracted by that being we were looking for the signs in Tyler mm -hmm. like that whole thing do you have anything else to say like about that no I think that's pretty much it yeah so I don't I think that's definitely like I'm like 99% sure that's what's gonna happen which like these theories like right I feel like and never was. like actually happened and there's also the thing of like it was based off a book and the book was just this you yeah know? but I think that they left so many things open-ended that they can't like the freaking guns like, right can't just be like oh yeah no we just chucked that in there mm -hmm. in the end like no so I'm very excited personally actually I don't know what did you think of the actual series I feel like I understand like the message and like everything about it mm -hmm. definitely like I don't know I've, I've heard people say like the acting was terrible and this and that mm -hmm. but like I honestly got really like into it I like 
I don't know, I sort of didn't like it. Like, I didn't like the fact that it took so long to, like, get to where mm -hmm. you, like, know all the answers. Mm -hmm. Like, I really just wanted to fast forward to the end and, like, skip all the tapes or whatever. Mm -hmm. But what sucked is that they, like, spaced out the, your questions. Like, your questions yeah. were answered so few and far between, but you had to watch every second of ep every episode if you wanted to get that, which mm -hmm. is the point of a Netflix right. show, I guess. But it was just sort of annoying to me. Like, that's just, like, my attention span. But you saw it in, like, the span of, like, Two or three 24 days. hours. Yeah, yeah. I finished I it watched hours. in like a week. Yeah, so I'm psycho. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sitting here being like, I didn't really like it that much. <laughs> I watched it 24 hours. Anyway, so um, yeah. Okay, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I really hope you guys liked this like theory type video. Um, do not forget to like and subscribe if you are not already, and comment down below because we decided. Yeah, let us know if you like have heard these theories, have any of your own, yeah. whatever, like yeah. what you thought of them. Yeah, and we'll both be on Let our accounts know. commenting, yes. responding to comments, because like I love like talking about this kind of shit. Yeah, so anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in my, my, in my next video. Bye, guys.